Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher. There is a lot in store for Fortnite in 2021. I talked about the modding that's coming to the game in a previous video. You guys should go watch that. But today we're going to be talking about some new mechanics and some new exotics coming to the game. If you guys are excited for this discussion video, be sure to like and subscribe. I checked my stats and a lot of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. If that applies to you, all I'm asking is that you check that you're subbed, hit that sub button, and turn on notifications. Let's get into today's video. So first things first, HypeX posted a video footage uh, of the Run Gun Exotic SMG. Now, here's something I wanna say about the exotics right now. A lot of them are pretty useless and not worth the gold that they cost. Uh, however, the Run Gun SMG actually looks like an exotic that might be very useful, one that I personally wanna purchase. Um, it is basically a rapid fire SMG it's probably going to have similar stats or better to the rapid fire. You guys remember how much I enjoyed playing with the rapid fire, but it also has an increased movement speed while you have the SMG out. So basically I used to combine the hot pepper with the rapid fire for some insane mobility and high fire rate. Now you're going to have that built into the SMG, the speed movement uh, of the pepper plus the SMG. You'll have it both in one with potentially some better stats. So this thing could probably shred. On top of that, usually Epic allows you to stack speed boost. This is not a hot pepper speed boost. So you most likely will be able to combine a hot pepper plus this SMG plus hop rocks and get some insane movement speed with this new exotic weapon that's gonna have probably really high fire rate, probably the highest fire rate in the game and do some considerable damage. I'm excited to try it out. It looks like it's gonna be coming to the game sometime very soon, hopefully before the end of the season. Another exotic that's coming to the game is the Freeze AR. It's going to be the burst rifle with multiple R's. So the thing about this is actually, it seems like they're trying to add more weapons that actually have an effect on players beyond just damaging them. When you shoot somebody with this AR, you're going to actually give them the freeze effect and they're going to start sliding around. You can keep someone kind of uh, trapped in the storm if they're trying to rotate and you hit them with this, especially if they're going uphill. They're just going to start sliding down. I'm assuming this is going to be a scar level weapon. So it's going to do the same amount of damage as a scar. We also have footage of a tin stack heavy mortar type item. Uh, this looks very overpowered, especially because the fire rate looks insane. It's going to shoot like a lot of uh, rocket type attacks at once. The fire rate in this video could be a mistake because this is leaked footage. So this might not be the final product. Uh, but what do you guys think about this item? It looks like it's like a short range rocket launch. Maybe something you can rain down on people below you who are boxed in. It looks like it's pretty overpowered from this footage that you can see and most likely will be adjusted by the time it goes out because this looks really insane. The fire rate. We also have leaks about a slurp bazooka. It's basically a bandage bazooka, but it's going to give you slurp instead. So health and shields. Uh, a very strong weapon. Most likely will use two slots just like the bandage bazooka. This item has been in the files for a while. So it could have been canceled, but it also could have just been uh, on the back burner for the next season. Gnome Pistol. This is a very strange one. We got footage of this leaked. Uh, this might be just a developer item, or it could just be a April Fool's item that's coming to the game. This one and the Troll Launcher actually both scream April Fool's to me. Troll Launcher is like some sort of rocket launcher, but it doesn't actually shoot rockets. And you can shoot it really fast and doesn't actually do any damage. So these two items, if I had to guess... Uh, I would say that they could be a prank item, potentially April Fools. I don't know if Epic has really done anything for April Fools in the previous years. So this might be their first attempt at giving us like some troll weapons. Actually, they have. They have done. Uh, I remember they did the boogie bombs where if you got hit with a boogie bomb, you jumped really high and would fall to your death. So this is where the real sauce comes in. All right. We have some information about potential weapon mod slots like weapon attachments, like scopes and extended mags, things like we've seen in Call of Duty and other games uh, could be potentially coming to Fortnite. We got some information from HypeX, a prominent leaker, about these items potentially coming in. Like imagine if you could add a thermal scope to any weapon uh, of your choosing. Like you can add it to an SMG, a sniper, an AR, uh, completely transform the weapon and maybe add an extended magazine to an SMG or maybe... Uh, have a weapon do a little bit more damage for one clip. We're not sure exactly what kind of attachments might be coming, but we do see that there are some weapon mod slots in the game files that have been leaked. So this is something 
that could potentially start at a new season could be start of season six or maybe a future season down the line i definitely don't see this happening mid-season because it's a pretty big game changing update and it most likely will have its own season attached to it would you guys like to see weapon mods come to the game if so what kind of weapon attachments would you like to see these most likely will be lootable you pick them up you attach them to a weapon this could really have a lot of changes to how the game is played and how the gunplay is and honestly the gunplay in fortnite is not its strongest point it's really the building and the mechanics of the game not so much the shooting of the game so this could be a way to kind of elevate the gunplay of fortnite and kind of have a little bit more variety in the fights that you have i can only see this being a good thing unless there's stuff that is really overpowered for weapon attachments that could you know ruin the balance of the game but we'll have to see when it comes out uh, if it comes out and if it does it looks like it's coming out in season six this also could be linked to modding which is supposed to come in 2021 uh, this new weapon attachment stuff might be a way to help us uh, or, you know, help modders create weapon attachments to put in their own game modes of Fortnite. But like I said, modding is its own complete beast that's just, you know, going to overtake uh, the content side of things on Fortnite because people are going to be able to create their own versions of the game, which is going to be really cool to see. Gref G is supposed to be getting his skin soon, and he made a troll tweet. Apparently, it was April Fool's in Spain and and he made a troll tweet saying that his skin got canceled he was really sad and he was crying and he wasn't sure if he was going to play the game anymore but it was all just like a marketing thing uh to get some hype around his skin yeah, his skin is not getting canceled it was just a joke a prank I even fell for it myself I was live streaming and I saw a lot of people tweet about it I thought it was legit he is still getting his skin as far as I know it should be coming out very soon in some strange news uh there is a old video game called Carmen San Diego and Netflix is actually making a show about this game. But what's interesting and how this relates to Fortnite is that Jonesy, Agent Jonesy, actually has an appearance in the show. So we potentially might be seeing another collaboration happening. Maybe another hunter is going to be pulled from the show. I don't really know anything about Carmen San Diego. If you guys do, let me know. I don't think Fortnite would have Jonesy go on that show for no reason. There's most likely going to be some sort of collaboration coming up pretty soon with that show's release ladies and gentlemen that's all i have for now in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the leaks and discussion there's some really interesting stuff coming to the game potentially 2021 fortnite is going to look a lot different i'm very excited to see how it turns out with the modding and potential weapon attachments and new exotics it's going to be a great year for fortnite i have a great feeling about it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time